Hey guys, so today I wanted to share my top 2022 sunscreens video so far. Um, I'm super excited because I think the last time I did this was back in 2020, which seems like forever ago. These sunscreens I'll be sharing today are so amazing. I love all of them, like pretty much equally. Anyways, let's get started. So the first one I have been really loving is the Be Plain Clean Ocean Moisture Sunscreen. Be Plain is really known for like their gentle formulas and I feel like all of the products I've tried so far from them, I've just really, really liked. Even like when I try out like the testers and stuff, I'm always like, oh, it's so good, you know? So of course, naturally, I was very intrigued by their sunscreen as well. So this one has SPF 50 plus, PA plus, 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 plus. Actually, all the sunscreens I'll be sharing today do all have SPF 50 plus PA++++. So I know B Plain has this one and also like a green version. The green version when I tried out the tester I was like a little bit like not too sure about that one but this one I fell straight in love because from memory I believe the green one had more of a matte-ish finish while this one is very moisturizing. The texture is so amazing for this one. It feels like a very light lotion and it just blends in so quickly. It kind of leaves a little bit of glow on the skin, but not too much. You can kind of feel that moisturizing feeling straight away. I think the best part about this is how just nice it feels on the skin. And actually, this one feels very, very similar to the Round Lab one, which I will be showing soon. Um, actually, I got this one after the Round Lab one because I did hear it's very similar. Yeah, this one has been so good. No white cast, as you can see. I think they always have a good deal on this, on Olive Young, this and the Round Lab one. So definitely check this out. If you do like a moisturizing, lotion-y, essence like sunscreen, this one is gonna be amazing. So the next one is from Isn't Tree, and this is the Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel. So this one was actually gifted from Isn't Tree. So they gave me options to choose from, like which products I wanted to try, but I knew straight away I wanted to test out their sunscreen because I've heard amazing things about this. So, and ever since I've gotten this, I've been just using this almost every day. I just love the applicator of it too. The first impressions I got from the sunscreen was it feels very essency, like watery essence like very light very watery almost lotiony too but i think it's a bit thinner than the be plain one i just showed you once again this one blends in so easily as well it really does have that fresh cooling finish and i really love this because after you apply it you like you're good to go like for the rest of the day you just feel so like good and fresh obviously you do have to reapply but i'm saying like it just keeps your skin feeling so moisturized throughout the day this one also contains eight types of hyaluronic acid which obviously that's definitely going to give you the hydration and plumpness and i believe out of all the ones i'll be sharing today i think this one has the most thinnest consistency in my opinion all the ones i'll be showing you are pretty thin too but this one kind of has like that watery touch to it just a tiny bit and once again i feel like isn't tree is a brand that i've tried multiple products from them and i think I just don't have one that I don't like. So yeah, this one is really, really great. I highly recommend. So the next one is this one right here. This one is from Huige. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it's Huige Vegan Sun Cream. So Huige is a really new brand to me. I haven't tried any of their other products, but um, when I saw their sunscreen, I was really intrigued and I just immediately bought it. I think mainly because of the texture. It's like kind of plumping feeling it's like nourishing and plumping when you squeeze it out you can tell straight away i don't know how to explain it like glossy plumping feel but it feels lightweight too and you can instantly tell it's gonna nourish your skin i just love the texture i feel like it has a little bit of a roundness feeling to it yeah this one also blends in so easily there's no sticky feeling whatsoever it's very gentle and your skin feels very nourished afterwards so i have been loving carrying this around and i think it's just like the perfect size too it's just not like a huge bottle or anything like that it's just you just carry it around and especially if you are looking for a very moisturizing sunscreen you will love this like you need that extra like like nourishing effect i think you will really 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 like this one okay so the next one is definitely like 
a very well loved one as you can see it's like almost empty this one is the round laugh birch juice moisturizing sun cream i'm pretty sure you know about it i think a lot of k-beauty fans have loved this sunscreen so this one has been a favorite of mine since last year and i've just been loving it i've used it so well it does have that lotiony feel once again it's very similar to the b plain one as i mentioned earlier i think if you did ask me like which one should you get from this and this I would just say just get the one that's on sale just because they just feel so similar. Yeah, you probably wouldn't be able to tell the difference too much. One also doesn't have any white cast at all and it feels really good on the skin, it keeps your skin moisturized. It has a little bit of the glow but not too much once again. So I'm not going to say too much about this because it's very similar to the Be Plain one. But the reason why I wanted to feature this in this video is because... Because I love this one so much, I was so, so interested in their other products, like their other sun products that they came out with. So out of all the new things that came out, I decided to get this one. So this is a sun stick from them, and it's from the same line. So it's the Birch Juice Moisturizing line. I don't really gravitate towards sun sticks that often, but I do have one I really like, and it's the Abib one, Abib Quick Protection Bar. That one, oh my god, that one feels really good as well especially the shape of that one is amazing because it has like that curve so it, like it really helps to get in everywhere so this one is also really great ever since i've gotten it i've been actually just using this one <laughs> because it's just so fun to use so this one i actually fell in love because when you do apply it it doesn't feel too oily because um i feel like some certain sun sticks can kind of feel oily at times like the moment you apply it you're like Ugh, i'm not sure but this one it has just enough of that feeling and but it has also that moisturizing touch to it like you can feel that it's like moisturizing while also like very thin not too much personally for me i like to blend it in after i do apply it just like this and it blends in so easily and it has a very clean finish but one thing i will say is i do feel like the cream is a little bit more moisturizing um, over the sun stick but the sun stick still has a very nice moisturizing touch to it and also i love how comfortable it feels no sticky finish not too oily feeling you know and also there's no scent no white cast so i really have been enjoying this one the only thing i would probably would want to change is the shape of it i feel like because it's just like a round circle it's so hard to get into the crevices especially nose it's so hard but like everywhere else it's fine but i think only that maybe if it was like a shape like like the abib one or like just a flat like flat shape maybe it would have been better but anyways i still really love it yeah i think because of this one i'm gonna kind of get into sun sticks again but yeah this is definitely one i would highly recommend so that was it for the sunscreens i have been loving lately i hope you found some that you might want to try i feel like honestly you can't really go wrong with any of them if we do have similar styles as in if you like a moisturizing like very like lotiony and you like just a very easy going sunscreen that blends in really well like no white cast no tone up effect nothing like that i think you will love the ones i did share today and yeah if you have any more questions please let me know and hopefully everyone is protecting themselves from the sun and yeah i will see you in the next one bye better to have a short life that is full of what you like doing than a long life spent in a miserable way.